The rod in Baldur's Gate runs deep. A malignancy that needs to be excised. That begins with Gortash, who to my disappointment, was coronated as the Archduke of Baldur's Gate. In Worm's Rock Fortress, we found Counselor Flora can freed her. She'll be a great ally to have. And a persistent headache made herself at home in our camp, Mizora. Despite many obstacles, we made our way into the lower city. Constable Devella set us on the path to find the Red Dwarf. Like prey, he fled and we hunted him down until his evil was expunged from this plane. The Emperor also continued to persist in my dreams and revealed his true colors. I'll never trust him. Halson has also been acting strange, as if some malaise has overtaken him. I can hear him now. Wait, what is Halson doing? Why is he a bear? Oh no, Scratch! What have you done? Okay, he's breathing good. Halson, I'll take you down if I need to. Have you been driven mad? Get away from Scratch, now! Please, wait. I did not want this. I could not stop it. It's this place, this city. I can feel its corruption eating away at me. I should not be here. No one should be here. It has made a monster of me. <sighs> I haven't spoken to him for a bit. I don't know what's going on. No, you're responsible for your own actions. <laughs> I could tell him to pay for it as well, but we're not going to do that. We're not here for revenge. You're an archdruid. Whatever's affecting you, resist it. I can't. Whatever powers I have... They are dwarfed by the evil of this place. <clears throat> Sylvanus has abandoned this place. It's nothing but stone, grime, smoke, pain. The trees choke here. The animals hang from butcher's hooks. Nature is dying in the gutter. There is only one god fit to be bowed to in this place. The last god who will ever be knelt before. Then all of this will tear itself apart. <coughs> My body is trying to fight the corruption. But it's losing. And my mind will succumb soon after. I will not allow it. I will not surrender control. Even in this place. There are still innocents. Don't you do it. Can I stop him? I'll be sure to do so. But hold on, hold on. That's got to be Orin's doing. She's compromised our camp. It's got to be. A DC of 25. There's no way for me to do that. A 21. We failed. Shoot. I could use inspiration. I'll use one point. A 21 again. I don't believe we'll be able to do it. <sighs> the blood is on my hands in the end. <sighs> no more.
You almost figured it out. <laughs> but almost won't save your friend. <laughs> you had better up your game if you hope to truly save him. <laughs> Orin. Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my netherstone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you. And your little pet. What have you done with Halson? Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <laughs> I will not slice. His kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. You know what? So does everybody else. I'm afraid he'll have to wait his turn. The murder lord does not need permission to kill. You are dull. A blunt blade unfit to flay. But you could be sharpened, thin and jagged. Yes, I will tell you what to do. Oh, I bet. Enough of these riddles. Speak plainly. You'd prefer my whispers in the tyrant's tongue, hmm? You've heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is bars. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Orin demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. You idiot. You fool. Andrew Hill's not here to negotiate. Oh no. We make no type of negotiations here with your like. I'm coming for you first, monster. Oh, silly, silly little slaughterhound. My assassins will not let you. If you hunt me, then they hunt you. The murder lord will not be denied. Neither will I. We've been upended. We have no choice right now but to pursue her. It's a good thing that we have a key to their temple. We've got to reach the murder tribunal. We're going to save Halson. We'll have to rest up, then we'll go right away. And for whatever reason, Mazora wants to have a conversation. Don't worry, Halson's gonna be okay. I've had my eye on you. Hot as brimstone, jagged as lightning, and seething like the river Styx. But there's something missing, isn't there? 
You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. No, I'm quite content, actually. Whatever you're offering, I'm not interested. Oh, but do hear me out. You want what I have to offer. The ecstasy of agony. The pain of the damned distilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known. The little death writ large. Smile, and I'll come to you when you put your head down to rest. I will sate your most forbidden lusts. Or don't, and know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. I don't think you understand. Andrew Hill, if he wanted to, could have his own harem. He's not about that life. Look at him. He's got to go to the gym, leg day every day. It's quite taxing. You wouldn't understand. No, we can't do that. Absolutely not. Dear me, I've overestimated you. Trust me. I shan't be making that mistake again. Ta-ta. I feel like everyone has poor timing. They go, oh, Edger Hill's stressed out. Why don't I hit on him? I was going to go over to the sundries for Gale, but we can't do that. Now we've got to go over to Candle Hollow. Let's go find it. It's not too far away from the Elf Song Tavern. We can do that much. Halston, he's not really a close friend of Andrew Hill, but even then, Andrew Hill would not allow him to die like that, like a pig. That would be wrong. We can't do that. Let's have a look around. That's where we need to go. But hold on. Could there be another room close by? No, that door is locked. What about down here? Let's see. Oh, I thought there was a body. No, it's only a refugee. And... Locked doors. Interesting. I'll break them down. No one's home. Oh my god. No one's home. Look at the bodies here. That's this terrible. has been desecrated. Displayed. And there's nothing random about it. Let's have a look at it then. Hold on. Clown's severed pelvis. Dribbles! Circus clothes. What an end for Dribbles the Clown. No kidding. A note too. Balthazar the Fifth. A note found on the decapitated corpse of a man. No kidding. The effigy of Balthazar, who lacked ambition. What use his refusal? He thought himself free, but destiny claimed his corpse the same. Orin the Red. She's always around, huh? I can't wait to end her. It's about time. I was here to focus on her friends for a moment, but she's drawn my attention. She'll have it one more time. A pot seller. I don't want your pots. All right, so we need to go into this door. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, there's a lot that I've not discovered yet. That's true. We've got the key, thankfully. I don't see anyone inside. It's got to be abandoned, I would believe. Alright. Another door after that. And another vacant room. There's got to be a way to, to really get inside, right? That's curious. Yeah, there we go. It's a portrait. And also a chest. I don't have a key for it. I could get... Actually, you know what, Lazel? You could lockpick it. She's very good. She should be able to do it. Let's find out. A DC of 15. Guidance. Astral knowledge. Dexterity. There. A 30. She's done it. Alright. After that, we claim our prize. Gold. Tools. And another note. Okay. Clerk Dravage. Remember. You are in the business of making Candle Hollow's tombstones look like a genuine retail establishment. Keep all the prices about half again too high so you don't sell very much inventory. Right. I haven't seen him. Maybe he's been gone for a while. And here's another scroll. 
If you seek the tribunal, let death be your guide. For what is behind death but murder? You guys need a real hobby. A better one. Let's touch it. There it is, a button. And... <laughs> how contrived. Alright. The locked door has red text on it reading, All are awaited, all are embraced. None shall escape. Right. We do know the passphrase. Securious. A ballless crypt. How nefarious. We're not going to be buried here. In fact, we'll do the burying. Down these stairs, we've got a flaming fist shield and a parchment bearing their logo, their icon. Flaming fists this way. Oh, it's a joke. No, thank you. I know a trap when I see one. There's even a training dummy pointing over to a corner. I could go around. There's a broken portion of the wall. But I'm busy. Here's another corridor. Old skulls nailed into a wall once surrounded by blood. Weird. There's something engraved on this skull. Living a torment of sorrow and strife. It's a poem. It continues, is a burden to great and to small. We faithful cure mortals of burdensome life and present it to death father Baal. Verse by invoker Grimlock. A burden? No, I think not. I believe they only like to kill. They're not doing some service for people. Oh, I'm very sorry your life is hard. Let me murder you. No, they're not doing that. They have a thrill that they need to meet. And here's another chamber. Interesting. There appear to be three death knights. That which watches, that which guards, and that which lurks. Two are level 10. Their leader is level 12. Martial undead, soul oath. Interesting. Evil paladins. Let's go say hello. We have no choice. Everyone... Get in here, stay close by. Normally, I would jump right by them, but for the moment, let's near them. Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. Oh, we're rhyming now. Enderhill is always ready for a good rhyme off. My oath and blade, I shan't be swayed. Evil's threats will not be obeyed. I care not for what you seek. Stand aside. To passion's brash, thou art a slave. This sinful ground shall be thy grave. You think so? Divine strength in me is engraved. Against your malice, I'm unafraid. I've done some flighting. <laughs> Alright, Gel. You get to move first, I suppose. They're knights. They won't be very good against deck saves, I would imagine. They wouldn't need to be. They've got armor. Which means we've got a few decent options. A good ice storm. Oh, that would be fun. I could let them move to me. To actually pin them down, oh, that could be a lot of fun. Chain lightning would also hurt them a lot too. Let's try that one. There it is. All over 50 damage. Click heels. He's got his boots on. Now move quickly. I want you to run right out. A good use for a wizard's bonus action. They don't have much to do with it. Alright, you're done for now. Back over to... Let's see. Lazel. Lazel, if you could knock our enemy prone. Oh, that would be superb. Go after their leader. Flurry of blows. Topple. It worked out. That was wonderful. Unarmed strike. Keep on hitting. We don't want to give up. We can't give up. Not here. Another strike after that. 147 HP. Now I want you to move away. You've got some okay AC, but you need a lot more. Jahira, it's your turn. You get to move in to strike as well. By your command. She's got long strider, so she's able to move a bit further. It's great. It's very nice to have. Begin. Two attacks. Here's another. He's not done for just yet. Halo of Spores. Try it out for fun. 
Unfortunately, he was able to make his save. Action surge needed. We've got to hit hard. 96 HP, again, 77. Now she's done. Back over to Edrahil. He's going to use a Divine Smite level one. 33 HP, strike again. Divine Smite level one. You've been beaten everywhere, vocally, physically. We've got a key to the murder tribunal, a new shield, Shield of the Undevout. Your foes have disadvantage on saving throws to resist your spells or actions that inflict fear. That could be very good. I like that. And over here, Black Guard's Plate. All incoming damage is reduced by one. Advantage on wisdom saving throw checks and disadvantage on stealth checks, of course. It's heavy, I know. A blade too. All right, let's continue. That which lurks. You've taken a hit. Are we done here? I believe that we are. A miss on Edrahill. Then a rush. You were able to hit Lazelle, but they're not hurting us. Not a lot. Not yet. 20 damage. Wait, hold on. That's a bit more. Okay, Gale. Move in. I want you to use a standard fireball. Let's keep it simple. We'll go after that which lurks. 16 damage. You're done. Get out of here. Click your heels together and go, Oh, I got a skedaddle. All done again. All right. Topple your enemy, Lazelle. A critical miss, but then a hit. It worked out. Keep on hitting. Never stop hitting. I came ready for all of you. You're no Orin. I'm not worried about you. Not yet. Okay, Jahira. It's going to be your turn. Do something. You could try to push him back. That wouldn't work out. What about a trip attack? A classic. Ah, a staggering smite. All right, you'll have to wait then. You'll have disadvantage. Instead, Edrahill, you'll come over here. Thunderous smite. Level one. Push him back. Do something. Unfortunately, they were able to make their save. Strike again. 81 damage. Not bad. Okay, Jahira, it's back over to you. I would like to go after that which lurks. What could I use to just get rid of them? My bow. Disadvantage again. I've got arrows I could use that would help out too. That would be very, very nice. Yeah, so I've got a few decent options, I think. A firebolt, that wouldn't do it at all. I could just charge in. Let's do that. Done. We got that one too. All right, back over to that which watches. You both missed. Our turns are over. Your turn. You're all alone. Ooh, two reactions. 48 HP. Another attack on Jahira. A lacerate on Lazelle, but she's doing fine. Yeah, thankfully we took him down quickly or that could have been very bad. All right, Gale is using a firebolt. 30 damage. Whoa, nice work. Lazelle, finish him. It's over. We've done it. All right. We'll use a short rest. Let's do that much. Oh, lovely little pick me up. No kidding. All right, so what do we have over here? Black Guard's Greaves. You gain Long Strider. Three meters more of movement. Nice. Yeah, we've got a whole set. I like that. Okay. Gauntlets 2. Inflict wounds. A level 4 necromancy spell. Strength saving throw plus 1. Attack plus 1. I'm glad we fought. I'm glad you're no longer here. Do we have anything else inside? No, I don't believe so. We are rested up. I do feel better. That's great. We should probably drink maybe an elixir or two. That could be a very good idea for all of us. I've got to spread out my potions as well. We'll have to do that. Advantage on wisdom saving throw checks. Again, that could be very, very good. We're no oath breaker. Though you could break your oath for something really good. It doesn't have to be inherently evil to do that. All right, so we're here. We've got, I assume, one more room to go into. Jahir is wearing the Black Guard's Greaves, giving her Long Strider. We all get to move a little bit further outside of Gale. But for Gale, I've given him a unique combination of items. 
boots of speed. That way he's able to use his bonus action to dash away, but after that, he's able to jump without using a bonus action. If I need him to get away or to reposition, he's able to do so without using any spell slots. It's time. Let's open the door. Hall of the Murder Tribunal. I wonder, Orin, are you here? We've got four chairs total. Interesting. I know that we're in a crypt, but these floors are pretty clean. Do you ever wonder who cleans the floors? I do. All right. I could position everyone to get ready for our confrontation, but let's go say hello. Who's over here? We've got Echoes and Saravok. Level 16, 340 HP. Jahira, I found your old friend. Let's approach. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Devella was right. Not just an imitator, but Saravok himself. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. But these are not aspirants. You have brought traitors of Baal into our midst. Harper Worm, the abdicating hero. Your keen sense for this city has withered in your absence. Saravok, Baal's least favorite son. Still tied to daddy's apron strings, I see. The history they share may be long gone, but the threat of violence between them is as fresh as newly spilled blood. Neither party will let the other walk out of here alive. What purpose do you have in bringing this heretic to the court of Baal? Speak, or death will be your final word. I came here to find Orin, not a living relic. Would you like to kill the old Banjahira, or shall I? Mm. You get to my age. You have already done everything. Be my guest. And so the Grand Harper raises her weapons against Saravok once more. Your hubris will be your undoing, as it was once mine. Only this time, you will fall, and Baal will have his offering by my hand. If you're offering a hand, I'll take it. I've got four already and a handbag ready for you. Gel is moving first. We're fighting three Echoes and the legendary Saravok. He's got some resistance. For the Echoes, each one has a unique icon. Sendai has Mirror Image. Emilison has Vampiric Touch, I believe. And Ilisera has Haste. I wonder when they come into play. I don't know. Gel, what are you going to do here? It's quite simple, I think. Slow would be a great beginning, for one. I would like all of them to, of course, slow down. I don't know what their capabilities are, but we're going to find out. Let's move over. A level 3 slow? Sure, I'll try it out. We'll be able to hit them all. We're done. Begin. Come on. A counter spell! Oh, that's really bad. Gel is not going to be able to do a lot because of it. Click heels. Get out of here, Gel. He's like, okay, my time is over. I'm leaving. Jump away. Done. 
Saravok's turn. He's now attacking Edrahil, but thankfully Edrahil's quite mighty. He's got so much equipment, he should be okay. Lizelle, it's your turn. Let's go after the Echoes. I think I want to do that first. That way, he's not going to have any aid. Then, we'll worry about him. Let's move in. Jump over Lazel. Use a Stunning Strike. A critical miss. Try again. Come on. Okay, they were stunned. That's good. We could try to topple them. You do have a lot of key. Seven key points left. And you're done for right now. Yeah, move in between Ilicera and Emilison. Adrahil, it's about to be your turn, but not yet. Jahira, you'll move first. Right over here in the middle. That should do it. Perfect. All right. What we'll do, we're going to use Heat Metal. No, 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 no. Instead, we'll focus on the Echoes. That's a better idea in my view. We'll take out one Echo right away. Or get close to it. A good start. Action Surge. We should do that. If I could knock one prone, that would be great. Or if I could frighten some manner of enemy. But no, instead, continue your attack. 4 HP. Aren't you lucky? Edrahil, what are you going to do? Oh, hold person would be great, but that isn't really your specialty. If we could knock him prone, that would be better. But what about a blinding smite? His constitution is probably very high, so he's probably going to make a con save. So forget about that. A searing smite could add some extra damage, but instead we'll keep it simple. Thunderous smite, level 3. Let's begin. Unfortunately, he was able to make his save, and it looks like we can't really deal a lot of damage to him. That's unfortunate. Cleave, not needed. But Lacerate, we'll try that one. Come on. Critical hit. Oh, that's even better. A paralyzing critical. Don't let him act again. Very nice work. Now Edrahil is going to move by another Echo. We'll do that. Their turn. One has been stunned. Sendai's moving away. Hit by Edrahil. Using slow on everyone, but everyone made their save. That's good. There goes Illusera. Hit by Lazel. Oh no, restoration. Okay, the Echoes have got to go. I wonder, could we use Dominate Person on Saravok? Let's try it. Come on. The counter spell failed. Look who's on my side, Saravok. Ha ha ha, we got him. All right. Yell, move away. Your turn is over. Saravok, your turn. You've been betrayed, Echoes. You've been betrayed. Look at that mighty blade. I wonder if we'll be able to use it. That was a lot of damage. Okay. Jahira, you'll begin. Attack. We'll go after another Echo. Wait, hold on. You've got their essence, which means Saravok has a vampiric touch. Okay, if I go after Sendai, he's going to get mirror image, and Ilicera will provide haste. What we'll do, we'll whittle them all down, we'll take out one more after that, then we'll focus on, of course, Saravok. Right, your turn is over. Lazel, your turn now. Let's take out Ilicera. That should do it, I think. Yeah, keep on punching. One more attack. That's great. If we can knock Saravok prone, that would be even better. Yeah, we could wait. Let's wait for just a moment. Or we could move over and try to hit him. A little hit on her, but that's okay. It's only five points of damage. I'm not too worried. Yeah, I've changed my mind. We'll try to take on Saravok. Ah, it didn't work out. Edrahil, your turn. You know what? 
We'll hit Sendai a few times. A Divine Smite? No, don't do that. Instead, go after Saravok. He's back to being hostile. We'll keep on hitting him. The other Echo is nearly gone. Eight points left. Our turn is over. Counterspell. No slow for you. Not today. Okay, Gale. Let's move you a bit closer. A good slow. Oh yeah, that would be great. Let's try it again. A level 3 casting. No counter spell. Unfortunately, Saravog did make his save. Click heals. Again, those boots are so good for a wizard. His turn. I could have held on to him, but I chose not to. Again, I don't want him to take out that other Echo. Then he would be able to have a mirror image, increasing his AC. Lazelle, time to topple, if you can. It did work out. That's great news. Attack again after that. A good stunning strike. Critical hit. And another hit after that. Or we could try to stagger him. What do you do? Can't take reactions. Well, that's really not needed. So we don't need to worry about that. Just keep on punching. Good job. She's going to move over to the right of Saravok. And Edrahil. You'll strike again. A level 3 Divine Smite. Come on. 150 HP. Nice work. Keep on hitting. 94 HP. A bonus attack too. 82 HP. I'm only going over that because it's very important that we get rid of him right away. I wonder, could Jahira frighten him? Yeah, we'll try it out. He has been frightened. Oh, that's really cool. Ha ha ha. You won't be doing anything now. All right, we don't need to trip you. Keep on hitting. He's at very little HP. Halo of Spores. He was able to make his save. Sendai is now moving away. Another slow, but another counter spell. You'll do nothing. Ha ha ha. We've got control here. You have no power. Gale? It's your turn. Magic Missile. A level 1 casting. That would be rude. A level 4 casting. Even better. We've got to be sure. We got him. He's dead. Now there's only one more target to go after. The Echo of Sendai. A distant memory. We've beaten them all. I'm not going to use a short rest, not yet, because we have a long way to go. I don't want to do a long rest, not while Orin has Halston. She doesn't appear to be here, and that worries me a lot. Yeah, that'll have to wait. Instead, drink a few potions. I've got plenty. I could buy more. That will be no issue. What do you have, Saravok? Let's see. You've got a Sword of Chaos. 12 to 25 damage, necrotic damage. On a hit, regain 1 to 6 hit points. That's pretty good. We've got Saravok's Horned Helmet, Deathbringer's Sight. You gain dark vision up to a range of 3 meters or 15 meters if you already have it. The number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by 1. This effect can stack. Dauntless, you can't be frightened and cannot be afflicted with other emotion-altering conditions. Interesting, we were able to frighten him. I'll take it. One Amulet of Ball. On a hit, inflict bleeding upon targets that have max hit points. Okay. A quest item. Oh, okay. We've also got a map to Ball Temple. Let's have a look. This sketch map shows a dotted line to follow to get to the Ball Temple. Below the sketch are some instructions. Use a round street hatch to enter the city sewers. Proceed northwest to find your way into the undercity ruins. Okay. Blood the skull to pass the door. Follow the trail of murder to the ball temple door. Praise ball. They like to kill. And also kill in rhymes too, right? One abattoir key. Alright. Which means there's another room. Let's begin by looking over here. I did hear that sound that is played whenever you discover something. 
And let's see, on that wall, we've got some manner of hole. That might be it. All right, what's in here? A Mason's journal. Never in all the years of my craft have I felt I was carving my own tomb. This armored husk I once thought a man. He has trapped me here during the renovations. While he says I'm free to leave after the work is done. Ill mater, this god's awful smell. I'm no fool. We know he's dead. I'll take what you have. We've got a prison. Could there be anyone alive? There's what? A fist. I don't know who he is. No. No survivors, of course. Time to go. I would search over there, but I'll do that later whenever I don't have a friend of mine who has been kidnapped. Wait. Saravok has an office? Look at all of that fire. It's got to be sweltering in here. I'm trying to picture him wearing all that armor, but still doing paperwork. I'll take what you have. You've got a legacy ledger. Herein are logged the blood requisitions. The corpse wealth of our sacrifices, taken from their dead hands. After chronicling, and the assassin's claim of their own tithe. Okay, not really too interesting. What do we have over here? A wooden desk? A page from his book? Alright. The blood of Baal must never be wasted, only multiplied. I knew it from the moment of her birth. And every day thereafter, I watched the babe become a woman, Helena, my shape-shifting beauty, my daughter, and Baal's waiting womb. In her I planted my lord's seed, and thus did we beget the blood lamb Orin. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Which means, Orin is a child of oh, Sarah Valk's daughter, of course. But Sarah Valk had a child with his own daughter. I'm glad we killed him. I wonder if Orin knows. How disgusting. Alright. The child of my child, and Ball sacrifice in waiting. I did not know that it would be Orin that Ball favored, not Helena, but it matters not. Orin would help to bring forth a new birth in Ball's name. A world baptized in blood. What a sick individual. I'm glad he's dead. Let's move on. I need to use the key that we have. You know, that helmet would be very good to use. I need to dye it, then it should match. I don't want to use it during a dialogue, but that would be great. No one would be able to frighten Edrahil. And we would have a much easier time being able to get critical hits. Alright, what do we have? I have a key, what do you mean? There it is. <laughs> Alright. Orin? No, Valyria. That's somehow much worse. Alright. You've been chained. I could use a lockpick, but here we go. Get here and free me at Thanks for freeing me so quickly. No idea what those Baalist Burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I, uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. It's not quite over. Maybe for you. How did you end up here? After our chat at Charesse's caress, I thought it best to polish off the bottle I'd started. I started coming over all woozy. My joints stiffened up quicker than a brothel browser's loins. Paralyzed. My vision went black. When I woke up, I was in chains. Overall, a terrible ordeal. One deserving of a drink. I bid you good day, but it's been royally shite all round. I believe it. But are you sure we're finished? You might not be finished. I am. It's plain to see that I'm well out of my depth here. But you... Well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage. Insight. Heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these 
pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? Mind who you call history, Holyphant. Very good. Now, let's talk and find that temple. I would personally leave you here, but Edrahil, he wouldn't do that. I think we're done all down here, which means we've got to find the sewers. And after that, Halson. Let's go, we've got to. Imagine you're some manner of civilian. You're minding your own business, and there you see them. Four people walking out of some abandoned building. You know there's no business over there. There hasn't been someone there for maybe half a year. They're drenched in blood. They're meant to be heroes, but you see again, they're drenched in blood. That's got to be terrifying. Of course, what we're seeing right now are a bunch of people who don't care. That's okay. We know there's a way into the sewers. Thankfully, there appears to be a guide for me. Imagine if we had no guide. Oh, you would need some very thorough instructions to find anything. Of course, I do like to take notes. I would do it. I would make it happen. What's over here? We're getting closer. Ah, there we go. Right there. Right down the manhole. There's a strange being close by. A strange beggar. I'll say hello later. As of right now, my priority is Halson. They're not going anywhere. Let's go down the manhole. Down in the sewers. We're gonna have to wash up after we're done here. Alright, we're in a small chamber. We're in a puddle of just muck. Lizelle, you're up. I see a wall that you're able to break down. I don't need a hammer, I've got Lazelle. We are through. Oh, it's massive down here. Yeah, look at that. Signs of civilization. We've got a couple of wine goblets, a lit candle. There's people, or something. Over to the right, there's a breach in the wall. Down below, noxious fumes. We're not gonna go down here, not yet. The lower city sewers. Instead, we'll shoot that lever. Okay, it's gone. Which means it'll be safe to move down there, provided we need to. But for now, we're going to ascend a few flights of stairs. Okay, more than a few. Here's a door. No entry, no exit. I could lockpick, but... Nah. We've gained a lot of experience. A lot of experience, too. Wow. I'm not mad about it. Alright, so what's inside? Right, the guild! Which means we could meet Nine Fingers Keen. Let's go say hello to a few people. Like over here, the bartender. Alright, hi. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum Prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? I feel like he's a bartender at one of the shows I go to, where you ask for anything that isn't a basic drink. He's like, yeah, I don't got that. I don't have that either. No, uh-uh. You can have beer, you can have, well, vodka, whatever. Anyway, got any gossip you can share? Around here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. Now, what can I get you? We're not here to drink. Not at the moment. How good could a sewer bar be? I don't know. Oh, there's a massive hookah. And we'll talk to a few more people who might stand out. Oh, look at that. Nine Fingers Bodyguard. So she's got to be in that room. We might as well say hello. No one was bothered I broke in. That might be a common occurrence here. She has a lot of bodyguards. She's talking to someone called Uktar. Hi, Keen. It's an orphanage, Uktar. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. 
Seize the building. Arm any children old enough. If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me! This is a private council! Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. Oh, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. Hi there. I'm a friend of Jahira's. I'll let her do the talking, though. How nice. You won't find many of those in my guild hall. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his goals. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stone Lord. Lies! Huh. Really now? He's meant to be the Stone Lord? That's crazy. The new gang boss here people are so afraid of. Him? Exactly the one. Guild crews may be prone to exaggeration, but... Not in this case. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush, tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. She's not alone. She has me. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira... Well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. We can't stop. We've got to find him then. Well, that was quite the reveal. Let's have a look around. There's some paperwork I would like to look at. I wonder, could I read it without getting into trouble? She's bound to have some valuable information. Like over here, Devil's Fee Observer's Report. Can I read it? I can, good. I can't take it though. Notes from Himberloo, a street beggar employed by the guild as a spy on activity at the Devil's Fee Antiquities Shop. The report concludes with the following. Though the majority of my report concerns the visits of well-known patriarchs to Hell Six establishment, aristocrats who might be blackmailed to keep such a visit secret, there was another visitation that I feel should not be overlooked. The arms dealer Gortash, along with a known ballist leader, met yesterday with Helsick for a considerable period. Upon leaving the shop, I overheard Gortash to remark, What did I tell you? If Helsick can get us into the House of Hope, oh really, she can get us into Mephistar too. I've got to find him. He could get me to the House of Hope. That's good to know. Yeah, we've got more information. What about over here? File under, okay, let's see then. I'll have a look. She doesn't care. 
Take note of Hellsick at the Devil's Fee. A person valuable to know if you need information on infernal matters. Again, good to know. Alright, let's move on. We don't need to talk to her again. Not right now. And I want to find out how big the area is. It appears to be quite large. There are so many members around. There's Uktar. Those two, him and Keen, they seem to have some issues. We should talk to him. You are not known to me. For supplies, seek the bugbear. To trade trinkets, the fetcher's brats. I am Ukta, duly elected guild bursar, and I will not have my time wasted. Oh, is that what Nine Fingers was doing earlier? Wasting guild time with this stone lord business? Hmm. You might say so. I could not possibly comment. <laughs> I sense there is no love lost between the two of you. There is our key in. I need not love to serve. You have a point you wish to make? I sure do. The quicker I deal with the Stone Lord, the quicker Nine Fingers gets back to business. Hmm. I have not come so far by indulging in petty disputes. But I am open to transactions of... Mutual benefit. I am interested in gaining access to vaults beneath the counting house. I'd pay well for keys to those vaults. Provided said vaults are uh, not emptied prematurely, of course. <laughs> I suspect that what you seek might also be found beneath the counting house. I tell you this only as a matter of mutual interest. She plans to ambush Minsk at the Counting House. But what the hells would he want there? What you do with that information is a matter for yourself. Now, back to the Vault Keys. Do we have business to conduct? Not right now, no. He gave me a lot of information, and he's getting nothing. I'm not going to sell him keys. I'm not here to help him out. Wait, hold on. Mole's here? We're all on the what are you side, doing friend. here, kid? Nine fingers in Wow, look who it is! Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Ready to do some business? Straight to the point. Good to see you again. What are you up to now? Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. That was it? Okay. I thought maybe there would be a bit more. I wonder if I could tell the other kids. They've been wanting to know where Mole is at. He's okay. That's good. Or she's okay. Zentrum. Wait, hold on. What are they doing here? They've got quite a few members, too. The she Professor. What a name. Yeah, they're all over. That's a really bad sign. Yeah, the guild is bad, but the Zentrum, they're on a different level. All right, let's go back out. We'll go back out to the sewers. It looks like there's a way to get back to Baldur's Gate, Lower City. But for now, we'll move back up. What we need is further away. I'm trying to picture why Minsk would join the Absolute. I wonder if he's infected. That's got to be the reason. And in here we've got four cultists, their leader's level 8, three stacks of unstoppable, that reduces damage to one, three level 3 night blades, and they're shooting at refugees! I can't abide by that. You know what? We're gonna sneak in. They're gonna be ambushed. They don't deserve an honorable battle. They're not gonna get one. No. We're gonna use magic missile to get rid of unstoppable. That'll be a great counter. Wait here. Let's take our time. Edrahil, you'll jump over. Then Jahira. They're too busy trying to hit refugees. They don't know that I'm here. You idiots. Now for Lazel. Lazel, you'll jump right there. Perfect. Okay, Edrahil, I want you to go first. A cleave, that could be a lot of fun. You could hit multiple targets. 
Actually, I like that idea. Let's move a little bit closer. Perfect. Now let's hit all three. You sort of What's this? A heretic in our midst. Your death in the dreadlord's name. I disagree. Gel, you get to move first. I want you to use magic missile. Get rid of her unstoppable. We got it. All right. Now move away. That's what you get to do. Your turn is over. Lazel, it's your turn. Let's go after a Nightblade. We'll get rid of them right away. Their leader is a bit more pressing, but I've made my choice. One dead Nightblade. Time for a topple. It worked out. She's done now. All right, Jahira, your turn. Go after, let's see here. We've taken out two. Phil, take out Phil. No one likes him. He's dead. Halo of Spores on their leader. Yeah, you're being picked on now. Edger Hill's turn. Another hit after that. He hits so hard. Oh, you're not done. Nice work. Back over to Gel. Firebolt. That should do, I think. You're gonna be okay, refugees. I've got you. Lazel, finish her. It's over. Wait, hold on. The refugees are running away. Don't do that. Oh no, there's traps! Oh, come on. They all died. That's tragic. I feel bad for them. All right, what do you have? Murderous Cun. Prey upon the weak. This weapon deals an additional one to four piercing damage against targets with 50% of their hit points or fewer. I don't really need it, but I'll take it. I could sell it. Let's move on. No, we can't do that. Not for a while yet. We've got to push on. That was one trap. I do see a grease bottle. Gel? Firebolt. Take care of it. That's gone now. I've got water if I need to get rid of the fire. That wouldn't be a lot of damage anyway. You know what? Let's bring out the water. We should. Perfect. The fire went out. Let's move inside. I'll break open that door. I don't really see anything of note. Not yet. What's down here? A ramshackle bridge. And a waypoint. That's handy. So over here we've got some blood. Many bodies. Oh, I don't like that. Arabella? What are you doing here? Huh. Let's say hi. Arabella seems not to notice you as you approach. She's as intent on examining a peculiar stone as she is unbothered by the corpses littered on the ground. Arabella? Hey! I had a feeling you'd show up. It's sort of our thing. Like it's fate or something. Check out the stone. It's magic. Incredible, right? Yeah, what about it? But tell me about the bodies. What happened? Bandits came at me with daggers. They didn't know who they were messing with. Okay. I'll try to study the stone, but it's not going to go well. A DC of 15, I'll add guidance. Wait, we made it. <laughs> cool. You are flooded with memories of the distant past. Creatures slain, lovers reunited, spells crackling through the air. The stone holds records of all who have passed by it. Arabella is collecting them. It's as natural as breathing for her. You're right. That stone is incredible. I saw past events as if I'd been there myself. And I've only scratched the surface. I want to know everything. Bone Man was right. The weave will take care of me. I just need to listen. Yeah, again, 
Have you been on your own this whole time? Yep. And I like it that way. Bone Man told me to follow the weave, to let it guide me. I've learned a lot thanks to him. And I'm still learning. She's incredibly powerful. I mean, she took on how many bandits? All right, we'll leave. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. I'll see you soon enough. Bone Man said so. All right. I guess we'll go. I thought there would be more with Mole and also Arabella, but evidently not. It's crazy to think we saved her. She was about to be killed by a serpent, but we said no. Hold on. Let's take a left. There's oil, a chest, and grease. I don't want to slip, so I'll use water. There it is. A bit more. No one needs to jump over it. I've got it. All right, we'll cross over another bridge. There's a cranium rat. Wait, hold on. Methods? They're made of grease? I didn't know that was possible. There's dead cultists here. Are they hostile? And there appears to be some manner of spellcaster further up. I don't want to say hi. If it ends in combat, that's going to drain our resources. We're trying to find Minsk and also Halsen. A locked door, but not for long. Wait. Boss, you're here? <laughs> okay. I nearly want to take his blade, but I'll wait. Let's say hi. Kithrak Voss. May the astral sea be still as you cross it. And may your mind be of steel so your blade may be of silver to Lakmagir. Have you retrieved the Orphic Hammer? Will our prince's chains finally be broken? Not yet, no. Where are the rest of your allies? The remaining honor guard serve as my eyes and ears. Vlakith's forces hunt you and the prism. My allies have slayed more than you know, so that you might travel freely. As for those that break through, You've proven more than capable of bleeding them yourself. I haven't gotten the hammer yet. Then I will wait here until you have. The chains that bind Orpheus also bind the whole of the Githyanki people. Alright, we'll go. I'll get your blade one day, boss. There's a vessel here. It's able to move further down. We won't go that way, not yet. Instead... We'll go near the Grease Methods, take a right. There's a ladder that leads back to Baldur's Gate. It goes up, it's got to go there. Two Grease Balls. If we were to fight them, that would be a long battle. That's why we're going to avoid it. Hopefully we're getting closer to the Undercity. What's down over here? A painted chest. It's currently locked, I'll come back for it. What's that? Yeah, don't worry about it. Here's a loose stone. A key to a painted chest. And a scroll of fire shield. Alright. That could be handy. Oh, heck yeah. Got some decent stuff. Money, potions. All that I need. Alright, let's open a door and have a look inside. Caustic brine. Everywhere. Looks tainted. Better to avoid it. Yeah, no kidding. I wonder, can I go around? Let's try. There might be a way to do so. Yeah, there is. Cool. Oh yeah, don't fall. There's a lot of grease. Hold on. A kobold thief. Let's check his body. Map of the sewers. Okay, a tattered map of the sewers. Realize an uneven scraggly lines. There is an area marked with an X, Bug Thimble, Dragon Tribe Treasure. Alright. Or Dragon, period, Treasure. Here's a Dirt Mound. We'll briefly dig up a few. I've got a shovel, we might as well. Alright. That says Crown, not Dragon. Here's another Dirt Mound. Let's try that one. 
Could they really be that bad? I'll try it out. We're okay. Lazelle, open it up. A simple task. I could attack it, but we've got what we need. Lazelle. Alright, what's inside? Oh, okay. I was hoping for a magical item, but that works too. Let's move on to that very large pipe. Oh, hold on. We've got more cultists. Three total. We do need to get a bit closer. Yeah, we could do that. Hold on. There's some more brine. Let's throw some water down. I don't want to take any damage. Gel, you've got hold person. That could be really, really good for taking our enemies on. Let's move a little bit closer. Yeah, I'll have him go after them. Barnes, you're level five. You've got Sanctuary. Their leader has three levels of, or three stacks of Unstoppable. I'll try to get how many? A few of you, sure. Their leader? Yeah. Oh, it failed. Wait, no, it didn't. All right. Okay, let's go in. Let's jump in. We'll go attack right Just away. Just as I was getting bored, our Lord sends us a little diversion. Okay. We're here. We're in battle. They get to move first. Uh-oh. One member is currently invisible. Another threw a bomb. They took more damage. The idiot. Oh, you know what? Lazelle, I know what I want you to do. Jump down, climb up, punch a person. Oh, they saw you. That's okay. That's all right. Wait, hold on. They destroyed the ladder. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, I'll jump again. Now we get to punch. Perfect. Again. 19 HP. Move away. Gel. A fire bolt. That might do it. We got that one. All right. That one guy went invisible. Edger Hill, let's move up. Hopefully you'll be able to see him. Nothing? All right. That's fine. Jump over. And you get to hit her. Yeah, go on. A critical hit. Don't use your divine smite. Wait, hold on. We got to get rid of that unstoppable. Well, Gale can't do that yet. That's okay. I've got some water. If we could find that guy, that would be great. Let's throw some water. Yep, there he is. Ha ha ha. Gotcha. All right, you're done. You too, Gale. Jahira, could you make it over here? No, not quite. You don't have your bonus action. That's unfortunate. I was hoping you would. So instead, a thorn whip. That could be fun. Yeah, we could bring him down to you. We could do something. Well, that's okay. Halo of Spores. You've got Sanctuary. But that ability worked. Nice. She's close by. Their turn again. Move away, Barnes. A miss. Now you don't have Sanctuary. You're in danger. All right, four damage off balance. Gel, again, attack. You've got advantage. I had meant to use Magic Missile, but I'll take it. That'll work too. We might as well save a few spell slots. Only got so many. All right, Lizelle, you'll keep on punching. Hopefully we'll get rid of him. We nearly got him. Jahira, finish him. He's dead. Only one more target to go after. Nice. All right. Halo of Spores. She made her save. Edrahill, you'll keep on swinging. Yeah, that wasn't really a battle of consequence. We keep on landing critical hits. That's great. Another one after that. Whoa. With my elixir, that helmet, all of it, we're doing so well. All right, I'll take what you have. Let's have a look over here. Let's see. That valve is stuck. It's stuck? Well, Edgerhill's very strong. It worked. 
Heck yeah. Ha <laughs> ha All right. Let's move inside. We get to do that. Is there anything down over here? No, there's not. More brine. But I'm not worried about it. Okay. So we're moving over into another area now. Hopefully we'll find him. Oh, the Undercity. It's right over here. Good. An autosave. That's how you know something is about to happen. More enemies. Oh, yeah. Let's move up. How many are in here? More unstoppable. Oh, we're going to be using magic missile all day, aren't we? Edrahill, if you can move up to attack them, that would be awesome. If not, let's move closer to whoever. An invoker. Oh, a mage. The mage has got to go for sure. Let's jump up. Hi there. Okay. After that, Jahira, I need you to move in. Lazel too. In just a moment, there's Jahira. It's a big battle. Oh, one moved away, then took some damage. We're all in battle now. Whoa, just by responding, one person nearly died. Gel was not stunned. Shield. Don't let him hit you. Nice. Shield is really good. Another throw. Okay, Jahira. You can't do anything, not right now. Lazel, you'll move up to punch. I cast punch. Perfect. All right, let's go after the spellcaster. A topple. He made it. Isn't he lucky? All right. They've got, oh, a pet, Snicker. Adorable. No, let's go back to punch. One more. Or kick. Yeah, kick works too. Okay, Gil, let's dash up. God, I love it so much. I know I've said it many times now, but I didn't realize how good that would be. A level one magic missile. You've got no more unstoppable. You've been exposed. Ooh, a night blade, level eight, dashing towards us. You won't do too much. You can't do too much. Oh, a doppelganger, okay. Gaz. We'll go around Snicker, then attack that leader of theirs. Again, a divine smite, not needed. A bonus attack. Now we've got to save our smites. Another night blade. She's got a bow, shooting at Gale. A miss again. Yeah, they're too low of a level. It feels good. Sometimes you just want to kill a bunch of minions, especially when you're at a higher level. It tells you how far you have come. But of course, they do hit incredibly hard. 40 points of damage is a lot of damage. Firebolt, can you do that? Disadvantage. You try to move away. No. Instead, Jahira will move in. We got one. What about the other? A trip attack. For the fallen. Yeah, sure. They're not prone. Halo of spores. Five damage. Gel, it's your turn. A fire bolt. Disadvantage. Blasted all. Oh, no wonder. You've got what? A few issues, maybe? No, I'm kidding. He's okay. Shoot in. 17 damage. Get out of their line of sight. Their turn. Shield again. Yeah, they can't do too much. Andrew Hill, you'll jump down. Yeah, do that. Let's keep it simple. One swing. Another dead doppelganger. I can't get up there, but I do have my bow. Let's try a pushing attack. Yeah, they're back. Enjoy that trip. Their turn again. They're moving up, attacking Jahira. Now for Lazel. She gets to have revenge. Or she gets to jump into the vault door. <laughs> You're kidding me. That's amazing. All right. That's too funny. If I can't get up here, that's all right. No, no, I've got it. Don't hit the door. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so good. 
Okay, a stunning strike. They keep on making saves today. A standard strike. Gel, a firebolt. Seven HP. Jahira, use your bow. We have one again. All right. Lazelle, you've got more potions to use. Yeah, you don't have a choice at the moment. Let's do some looting. I'll come back to loot more, but... Without delay. Oh, we'll go back up there later. Or now. Yeah, perfect. What do you have? Nothing really. I bet only their leader has some loot. So we'll check them out. We'll need to climb up a ladder. Is there anything else we need to look at? There's two valves. I'm not going to touch them. I don't know what might happen. There's a chest. Oh yeah, there's loot in here, all right. And another ladder. Maybe that leads to the city, I don't know. The Stone Lord's sketches. Well, I know we're close now. A few decent arrows, some more loot. Oh yeah, plenty of loot. I'll be able to buy some nice magical items. Let's check out his sketches. A series of line drawings in various stages of completion. Each grows more detailed than the last. Huh. Some manner of furred rodent. Aw. Now we're going to be able to make our way to the counting house. If anything, when we come back, if we need to come back, then there's not going to be many to help out our enemies. We've killed them all. That'll make my life a little bit easier. We're just going to pop up. Once we make it back to the city, we could use a little sigil and get a little bit closer to the counting house. Up we go. Trap. Be cautious. This place is more dangerous than I thought. No kidding. Here's a lever. Now we also know of another way to get into the sewers. There's a lot. Oh, hold on. A toolkit. I need that for sure. Hmm. What's that? Yeah, what is it? Do I step on it? Is it a trap? Maybe not. Well, that's good. Ooh, water. Yeah, I always need a good bit of water. It helps out so much. That's curious. I wonder, what if we had one person on each one? There's two. We didn't trigger the blast mines. That's a good thing. Huh. Okay, well. Let's get out of here. All of us. That ladder spat us out to the west. So we went over to Lower City Central Wall, then it was a hop and a skip down to the Counting House. They've got their own unique guard, the Cash Guard. They're all about that money. Maybe I should bring in Asterion. That would be a good choice, I would imagine. Yeah, that would be a really good choice. But we also have a Spellcaster. Somehow, we need to get back here. That means we should probably talk to a clerk. Head Clerk Mead Honey. Let's talk to him. Welcome to the Counting House. I'm Head Clerk Mead Honey. How may the Fellowship of Financiers serve you? You seem a little nervous, Sir Mead Honey. Had some difficult customers today? One in particular calling himself the Stone Lord, perhaps. The who? The what? All right, fine. The head banker may have just taken a customer by that name down to the vaults. Rather large, rather heavily armed, which is against regulations. But I'm sure the head banker knows what he is doing. <laughs> I assure you, he does not. You are right to be nervous. But let us pass, and all will be well. Uh, well... Who is this Stone Lord to you? Oh, about that. He's a friend. He might do something stupid down there, but we can help. Persuasion, a DC of 10. We're gonna be okay. We've got friends for advantage, 1D4. We made it. That would be most unusual. But then so is our visitor. <laughs> that he is. But don't worry. We can handle him. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass, and should my superior ask, keep my name 
out of it. Well, thank you. We'll do that. Let's yeah, talk to the captain, Cash Guard Captain Farrell. Account holders only from here. Vault pass? Here it is. Right. <clears throat> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. Which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. I'll do that. I don't have a vault, but I'll do that, sure. We'll go down and investigate. But what a massive building. Baldur's Gate is a large city. That would make sense. All right. We've got more guards. Sure. I'm really strong. Let's talk to... Well, they'll talk to us. Just need to see your vault pass, please. Yeah, here you are. Walks in order. Blessed day to you. Well, thank you. All right, we'll head inside. Traps everywhere. Oh, boy. Imagine trying to fight your way in. One day I'll try that. Well, Edrahill won't. There's the vault door. Let's go inside. The Counting House vaults. Vault visitor log. I don't need to check that. Let's pop inside and have a look around. Oh, it's really a lot. But we probably just need to head over to the center vault. That's where all the good stuff would be at. Here's a blank. Let's read it. For current door codes, please refer to the head banker's office. Highest security clearance only. That means I would need to head back up. Well, hold on. There is a notice over to the left. Cleaning staff note. For the direct notice of cleaning staff, no more water is to be used to clean the floor in front of the main vault. Use prestidigitation if you must clean there. We can't afford any more lightning mishaps with wet pressure plates. Really now? That's good to know. Thank you for giving me a clue. So don't use water. <laughs> All right, everyone, back up. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe I'm wrong, but also maybe I'm right. Let's throw down some water. Here's an arrow of lightning. Perfect! Heck yeah, man! Can't give up now. What a brilliant game. They give you so many ways to solve issues. Okay. Now we've got a challenge. Don't run into the water. That would be a bad idea. We've made it again. There's an autosave. That's how you know it's about to get bad. Let's go down. It's still moving. Hush your fussing. Nine fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist, the drow exile. Heroes have power, I. But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. Moradin's cracked clay. Look who it is. What a legendary introduction. You're not gonna digest him. He's a tough one. There is no gold in here. <sighs> if there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort in your final moments. 
Meet Minsk. He still seems very much himself to me. Minsk. The very same Jahira seeks. Yeah, that's right. Let Jahira reveal herself. You. Stone Lord. Ha. Huh. Better to call yourself Stonehead. Your false face does not fool my eyes. I will cut until you look like the monster you truly are! Somehow, you are making even less sense than usual. Perhaps I can explain. The Stone Lord sees through your lies, shapeshifter! Count yourself lucky he cannot stay. Oh, nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's Faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Learning shape changers! Enough! Let us deal with these cultists. Then find out where they are nesting. Who gets to go first? Gel? Okay, very good. There's enemies everywhere, and before I jumped down here, I had people use scrolls of invisibility or see invisibility because we know the cult likes to use it a lot. And I'm tired of them hiding. Hopefully it'll work out. We're surrounded. Thankfully, the cash guard is on our side. I don't want Glitterbeard to die. I need to get information from him. He probably knows a lot. Okay, Gal, use a potion of speed. An arrow of transposition. There's another to our right. Yeah, pop on over here. The Reapers nearby, they can't attack. They've got Sanctuary. Good. All right, hold person, level four. You guys might be quick, but you're not wise, nor are you intelligent. A guaranteed hold person on three targets. Great job, Gal. That's gonna make our lives a lot easier. He's done for now. Back over to our enemies. They're attacking who? A cash guard. Well, good news for us. Now their sanctuary is going to be blocked. We'll be able to kill them. That's a lot of blood. Are you okay, cash guard? And of course, they go after Lazelle. They love to attack her. All right, Lazelle, your turn. Hurt them a lot. Keep on punching. You're not done. Nearly dead, but not there yet. Now they're dead. <laughs> Stay close by. All right. Reaper Vaga, what are you gonna do? Nothing? You'll stay invisible? Okay, if you want to. Jahira, it's your turn. Let's go after Reaper Onilla. Halo of Spores. All right, four more points of damage. It adds up quickly. There's Cash Guard Mora. She's moving away, using a ranged attack, dropping a few stacks of Unstoppable. What a great boon to our side. All right, she's taking a moment to think about life. Maybe she's got some bills to pay, I don't know. But that's all right, let's have a look around. Yeah, Lazelle has been hurt a lot and it looks like they're attacking other targets. Imagine being frozen like that, knowing that you're gonna die looking like an idiot. <laughs> They've been shamed. All right, thank you, Loretta. Edger Hill, it's your turn. You can easily kill them. There we go, one more attack. One more dead reaper. That's great news. All right, let's have you jump way over here. Holy crap. The legs on that guy, right? There's one. My eye came in hand or handy. All right. Basher Edvidge. Holy crap, he hits hard. Dear God. 
over 100 points of damage. Glitterbeard was able to, of course, use a spell. That's cool. All right, Firebolt on Gris. Grice? Either way, they're dead. Their name has been forgotten. I don't know who I just killed. I forgot their name. Attack Malice. Oh, come on. What a cliche. You know I'm evil. My name is Malice. All right, Lazelle. Where do you get to go? Over here? Great idea. But you can't jump over there. Misty step. That could work. No. Use an arrow. Yeah, do that instead. But your pathway is interrupted. Hey, just move over here. It'll be all right. You'll be able to do it. All right, there's an arrow transposition. Now we are closer. You've got Sanctuary. Aren't you lucky? But I'm here at the moment. Yeah, that'll work out. Patient defense, one key point. Let's use it. I don't want them to easily hit her. I don't want that at all. All right, drink a potion too. She's feeling great. Their turn. A lacerate. She's bleeding again. A piercing strike. Damn, they hit hard. Okay, Jahira, would you be able to jump over here? No, not quite, but you've got arrows. Time to move, but again, you've got to get closer. That's fine. All right, there we go. Let's use an arrow right by our enemy. We've got to find some area to move to. That could work out. Yeah, right over here. I just have to change up my camera angle. Now she's got it. One offhand attack. A miss. Halo of Spores afterwards. We got you somehow. Alright. Hopefully there's no more invisible enemies. If so, we'll get them. It would be pretty creepy if one was waiting for us. Hiding. Lurking around. Some manner of assassin. Alright. Let's end it. Andrew Hill, get over here. Let's take out... Let's see, that one. He's close by. One attack, time for another. A critical hit, which means you get a bonus attack too. They're dead. Nice. I move over here after our other target. Here comes Edvidge. If only you could come join me because damn you hit hard. He's a paladin. Yeah, that would be a great teammate to have. Okay, Gal, Fireball. We don't need to get fancy here. No. We're just going to take our time. They can't do anything. They can't stop you. Okay, Lazel. You can't hurt them. Aren't they lucky? All right. Move back for now. You're done. What are you going to do? Attack? Good idea. A lacerate on Jahira. Then another attack after that. That's okay. You're now exposed. They've got a lot of sanctuaries. Who's casting it? I have no idea. Maybe their god is helping them. 55 HP left. Mora's moving in. A critical hit. Alright, a few more attacks. Then we'll be done. That should be it. You know... If we had a more nefarious character, we could loot the vaults here. I bet we would make a lot of money. All right, move in, Edra Hill. A miss? Impressive. All right, no critical hit. That's all right. Edvidge, he's moving. Dashing forward. There goes Glitter Beard. A magic missile. Hey, nice work. A banker who knows how to fight. That's pretty funny. All right, Lazel, punch away. That's another enemy gone. Cool. All right. We'll jump down. Nice work. Then dash. Yeah, you're able to do that. Move right over here. All right, Jahira, you'll wait. We shouldn't need to move too much closer. That enemy is about to die. There's Loretta. It's over. We've done it. Heck yeah. All right, we're gonna patch up in just a moment. Let's have a look inside the vault. These footprints started in the sewers. Oh, gross. 
All right, so we'll go back there in just a moment. I want to have a look around later. For now, let's talk to Glitterbeard. I'm a dead man. But you're not a man. You're a dwarf. You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that mimic could swallow a bloody owlbear. Wait. You're no guild sworn. Who are you? Security consultant? Your vaults leave a little to be desired. You're missing your motley, Jester. We softened our defenses to lure that bastard in. Nine Fingers wants the Stone Lord dead. With what he cleared from our vaults, he's got enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. And he wouldn't even know what to spend it on. It's the cult that needs that money. Why? You think anyone told me? Nine Fingers sent word the Stone Lord was going to try his luck on our vaults. So she told me to cooperate, lure him in. Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name or the absolutes? Just step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth. <laughs> no one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. Crone? Uh, look, I just mean to say, we both want him caught. If you've got your sights set on the Stone Lord, anyway. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the coin he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it. That's really terrible. How much was taken? Try all of it. Every penny of civilian lodgings, anyway. I mean, not like we'd lead him into the private vaults. But still. A lot of Baldurians waking up poor tomorrow. What he can do with that kind of coin... Oh, doesn't bear thinking about. We can't let that happen. These two responses aren't sufficient. Sure, we do need to find Jahira's friend, but he wouldn't say that he doesn't care about the gold. He doesn't want the gold for himself, but he would want to bring the gold back here. Imagine all these poor people who wake up, their entire life's savings all wiped down. No, that won't happen. I just need to find Minsk. I care nothing for coin. Good for you. I happen to care a very great deal. Retrieve the coin, and I'll make sure you are well rewarded. There's treasures greater than gold. Feel free to poke around this place and it'll help you pick up the Stone Lord's scent. Me, I've got ledgers to amend. Alright, which means we're now ready to move on. Let's have a look. Down there, we'll be able to find the Undercity. And of course, we'll have helped out Jahira. Yeah, return the gold. We'll do that. I don't want it. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We Zen to him are so long past our own godly roots, I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <laughs> rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought... Wait. And suddenly another presence looms in your mind, searching, probing for a tadpole. And finding none. Ah, uh, well. Perhaps I only needed to sneeze. And on that note, pleasure. Look for word from the Guildhall. I'm not gonna let you go, Moonglow. 
Let's wait until she's up here, and then we'll say hello. Here she comes. Oh, there we go. We've got a combat encounter. Let's get closer. She knows we're here. She's moving first. Oh, crap. I was hoping to stop her. Wait. She didn't get away. That's good. What must be okay, done? Jahira. <laughs> you can. Hit her. Alright, she's not too strong. We're going to use a Halo of Spores to add some damage. Three points of damage. Lazelle, you'll be able to take her out, I think. Yeah, we'll have to be careful because we don't want to kill Minsk. So what we'll do, we'll need to avoid any extra effects. We've got to use only non-lethal damage. If we're able to, we should be able to do that. All right, you're dead. I'll take your keys and there's some gold. Thank you very much. All right, let's go down. Can you jump over by other Jahira? It's too far away. Well, that's all right. Move on down. All right, he's level 12. Jahira, you're level eight. Well, evil Jahira. I'll use my bow. Oh, I can't do that right now. Right, only bonus actions. That's okay. Dash in, stay close. Perfect. Okay, Gail, I'll have you also dash. Come on down. Gail, you're gonna use a firebolt. We're gonna keep it simple, I think. Yeah, let's do that. 19 damage. All right. The good Jahira. The one without the clown makeup. He'll move up. All right, evil Jahira, your turn. Hit by Lazel. You're in bad shape, she'll blow. She's been knocked prone. Ha 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 ha, cool. All right, Edger Hill's climbing down the ladder. He's gonna jump right by her. Yeah, do that for me. Keep it simple. Strike well. A divine smite, not worth it. Strike again. We got her. You big dummy. It's not Jahira. Ugh. And turn, his turn. All right, let's be careful. I've got to punch him a few times without killing him, if I can. Non-lethal attacks, all right, a good start. Jahira, you'll move in first. There's one attack, another. Keep one hitting. Lazel, you'll hit once. And after that, Edrahil, you should be able to do it, I would imagine. A main hand attack. Please don't kill him. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage, flaring brighter every moment. Killed. Her. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Elithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Are you crazy? No. You've got to extend your protection to him. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. I disagree. He's Jahira's friend. Do it. No. I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The mind flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. She would. She would. I don't think you want to find out. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by. Battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira... You 
killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. <laughs> Chahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? That's pretty simple, really. <laughs> because I'm infected too. I know your actions weren't your own. A level head and a kind heart. It is well that Boo kept me from crushing either. I would be rid of this parasite. Minsk takes orders from only one tiny beast. And he is much cuter than any mind maggot. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? Um, I suppose we follow him. Yeah, we'll do that. Where could he be? There's that wall again. Oh, damn. Okay. Do I go inside? I guess I do. going crazy. A turnip. A warhammer. Another broken wall. We've got, yeah, a few items in here, hidden away. There we go. My friend. From our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Okay. <laughs> I do trust you, I think. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mince to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? Adorable. It is an honor. No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. 
Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil together. That sounds good to me. <laughs> it would be an honor. Let's go. You have a great many companions already. There is no room for little Boo, or slightly larger Minsk. Okay, sure. Why don't you wait at my camp instead? Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. What a goofy guy. I guess we'll actually bring him with us for a bit. Especially if we're gonna fight Orin. Oh, she's got to be happy. We'll go back to camp for just a moment. Or we could go back to the guild. There's so much to do. Ah, I think we do deserve a break, huh? Let's go back. Time to do our daily washing. There. I just like not being covered in blood whenever I'm talking to people trying to have a civil conversation. On my feet. All right, let's talk to Minsk. Fine lodgings you have found, my friend. Boo is already in negotiations with the guardian spirits of this place. In Baldur's Gate, they are likely to be rat-formed and eager to charge rent. But Boo shall secure safe slumber for all. Now, what do you need of Minsk? Very kind of him. You're a bit crazy, I'm not gonna question it though. Do you remember why you were meeting with his interim? So dark an alliance sealed with centish contracts, cultish vows, and a dragon's shining horde. You think Minsk could forget? You are correct. I have no idea what any of that was about. But we shall simply... Gah! Boo, why do you nod my soft parts? I am trying to... Once again, in smaller words? I see. This truth you seek. Boo believes that Minsk is knowing more than Minsk knows. But it is a difficult thing. There are memories of this time that Minsk does not remember. And Boo suggests that just as he helps with tricksome itches in awkward places. You must reach what Minsk cannot. The Parasite. You can use it to tickle free whatever truth you seek. Okay. I'm not going to use the tadpole. We can't do that. Or I could just crack you over the head and see what shakes loose, you know? I... I much prefer your methods, my friend, but Boo is resolute. The worm it must be. Okay. Well, no then. There's no need for that. We'll find another way. I do not often go against the advisings of my hamster, but... As you wish. Perhaps you might speak to the corpses you left behind. I'm sure Boo can scare his soul back into it long enough to answer some questions. Oh, I'm Ben. Yeah, we're gonna bring him to face Orin. He's fought with Jahira for a long time. You're quite quick to call me friend. Of course, my friend. Or are we not friends? Yeah, we are. <laughs> of course we're friends, friend. Then you have a sword at your side and a hamster at hand. Whenever you need them. 
Unless I die, or you die, or you do anything at all to upset Boo. Now, does Boo see a question in your eye, or just a parasite poking through? Yeah, answer me honestly. What's with the hamster? Well, Boo, explain yourself. Clear enough? Yeah, sure. Perfectly. Boo has a way with words that we lack. All that space in the cheeks, I am thinking. Yeah, me too. All right. We'll talk about something else. I would like to know a little more about you. There is more than a little to know, I think. I am huge. Okay. Jahira said you spent a century as a statue on the wide. I would like to hear about it. Ah, you come in search of stories. It is not yet time to tuck Boo in for the night, but very well. After our adventurings with the Ballspawn, Boo had had his fill of godly flesh. So, we return to Baldur's Gate for a time. After all, in every city there is a sweaty underbelly, crying out for a virtuous scrubbing. None better to wield a brush than Minsk and Boo. <laughs> Perhaps we rubbed some villain's rump a little too raw. This Minsk does not know. One moment we stood in the city slums, the next ambush! Then Minsk and Boo woke on the wide with stone dust in sensitive places. Sure. So that's how you became known as the Stone Lord. Aha! Perhaps this is the reason, Boo. It is not because of the legendary thickness of my skull. Sure. Very thick. And you never saw who did it. The mind of Minsk was occupied with important matters. I was browsing a slum vendor stall looking for Boo's favorite nuts. And then I was stoned. For Minsk, those years passed as quick as a hiccup. It was long ago, then hic it is now. You inspired people even as a statue. Jahira says Minsk and Boo were often draped in flowers and showered with wine. Still as stone, but the life of the party nonetheless. <laughs> but there is no glory without action, and no valor without violence. I would rather be as small as Boo, yet made of muscle and rage and virtue, than as large as Minsk, but made of cold stone. He's got a lot to say, for sure. Is it true you traveled with the Ballspawn who saved Baldur's Gate? Countless tales are told of Boo and Minsk. Many of them are so outlandish that even I do not know if they are true. Did Minsk bravely fend off the seductive vials of a succubus in the cloisters of Candlekeep? Maybe. Did he take a bath in the river Styx and temporarily forget himself? I do not remember. Did he travel with a spawn of the god of murder? who warred against his evil brethren and battled triumphantly at the throne of Baal itself? Of course, it was a splendid adventure. How did you come to trust the spawn of such an evil god? Oh, a curious question. Are a child and his father always alike? Take Minsk. He does not have a clear memory of the face of his father, but he does remember tugging on the thick, red whiskers that sprang from his chin. A beard for the ages. Who could have nested there happily through even the harshest of Rashomon winters? Now, look closely at Minsk, and what do you see? Kind of a big lump. A whole lot of muscle. Well, yes, but also... Uh... Who is correct? No beard! There are more whiskers on his tiny face than on the mighty chin of Minsk. If Minsk did not inherit the flaming red hair of his mother or the bushy red beard of his father, why would this spawn of Baal inherit his wickedness? He's an idiot, but that's surprisingly insightful. I have many more thoughts about beards to share. I did not know you cared to hear them. 
Oh my god. You do come from an older age, for sure. When our minds mingled, I saw some strange things. Oh? The mind of Minsk is a simple place. Of what strangeness do you speak? The memories resurface. A lifetime of battles blurring into one. A single constant is Minsk, launching into the fray no matter the foe, be they god, monster, or man. It seems just the barest glimpse of what the man before you has seen and done, but enough to know that he has no right to still be alive. Ah, wait! That look in your eye. I know exactly what visions of Minsk you have seen to cause you such wonder. My pants. Thrice laced in the Rashomar style, so that a berserker might split skulls without fear of splitting bridges, too. They are fiendishly complex, but fear not for Minsk. With training, he has learned to master the many little knots. Edrahel might need those pants. Again, his thighs are booming, so we need some magical pants, or at least some quite quality pants. Never mind your pants. You've walked between planes, fought gods. Well... As have you, no? Do not forget that when you gaze into Minsk, Minsk also gazes into you. We both fight evil wherever it is found. The who and where are less important than the hamsters you meet along the way. On this matter of sharing memories, I see no reason for us to worry at one another's worms. If there is more we wish to know, we can simply ask, no? Maybe so. Alright, of course. A warrior speaks their mind instead of reading others. Exactly so! If I must peer into the mind of my enemy, I use an axe. For friends, there is ale. No, my friend. If you fear you have a question that Minsk cannot answer, then you can simply ask Boo. Sure. We're done for now. Alright. We did a lot. We spoke to many. I'll have to bring him. I wonder who we're gonna sub out. Maybe Gel or even Jahira. Well, no. We've got to keep Jahira because, again, we're going to fight Orin. We haven't brought Karlag for a while, or will. They could work out. Well, Shadowheart too. I've got so many options. Where do I even begin? But we've done it for now. Oh, hold on. Let's have a look. I did buy a few new items. I had a lot of loot to pick up. The dead shot. The number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack, I believe for a paladin, at least to me, for me, I feel like enhancing your chance to crit is quite handy, especially because you're able to add your divine smites. What an awesome boon. So again, being able to crit all the time, that's been allowing me to go crazy. We also have Great Weapon Master, that helps out too. I've got the Horned Helmet of Saravok. I'm also using his blade, which means what little damage I do take, it doesn't really impact me very much. And over here, We've got Armor of Persistence, Magical Plate. All incoming damage is reduced by two. Legendary Resistance, you gain Resistance. That's great, 1d4 bonus to saving throws. And Blade Ward, has Resistance against Bludgeoning, Piercing, and Slashing damage. That's great. That's why whenever Saravok came to hit him, he wasn't taking a lot of damage. We don't need a lot more AC, if we're able to cut damage in half. For Gale, we've got a few good items for him. Amulet of the Devout, high spell casting, you gain a plus two bonus to spell save DC, and also a Nymph Cloak, Dominate Person, a free casting of it. That's great news. Yeah, my inventory was organized, but no longer. I've been getting scrolls everywhere. Like I told you before, I go back to loot rooms once we're done. That way I'm able to make money, that way I'm able to get more stuff to help out. All of that. Alright, let's have a look over here. 
A spell save DC of 24. No wonder all of his spells land. And a spell attack of plus 13. And yeah, we've got a lot. I wish I had a scroll of create water. That's really all that I'm missing. I really do want that because you're able to do so much with create water. It would help out a lot in battle. It's an incredible spell. That wet condition? Oh, quite malleable. All right, that should be it for the moment. My one thing, my one issue is largely trying to manage all of my items, especially if I want to take some from one character and bring it to another. I spend a lot of time selling goods, organizing my goods, all of it, just because I've got to. So hopefully in the future, we'll be able to manage all inventories without actually having to, of course, swap out characters directly. That would be great. I'm sure we'll get some more quality of life features. There we go. There's Edrahill again. We don't need a lot of spells. We don't really use a lot of spells. It's usually a divine smite or two. Then we're done, right? Okay, Edrahill, it's time for you to have a break. We're done for now. Don't forget to leave a like and comment right down below. I always do read your comments and I often respond too. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to hear from you. And let me know what future information you would like for this campaign or even future campaigns, whether it's builds or if you want me to explain my tactics a little bit more, I can do that. Also, if you would like to help the channel out, there's a few ways you're able to do that. In the future, we're gonna have more merch out there, which is a great direct way to support the channel while getting something back too. But there's also Patreon, YouTube membership, all of that. I do put a lot of work into every video, so any support you're able to offer, even a super thanks comment down below, it all adds up, it all helps. And for those of you who do help out, thank you so very much. Don't forget we do have a Discord. I'm planning a lot. First off, goal number one, be consistent, put things out there, and of course, finish a good campaign. Our current campaign is a good campaign. I love it a lot. I like our story, I like Edrahill. I know that in the future we're gonna play an evil character. To let you know a little bit more about that, what my plans are, I'm going to make a very complex Google form. And I'm going to put in every single option I'm able to put in, of course, for character creation. That way, the character will be completely created by all of you. The backstory, by me. But when it comes to, of course, the class, the subclass, the race, all of it, That'll be up to you. Even if we play any other type of character, a woman, a man, whatever else, that'll be up to you. I like the idea of doing that. It gives me a bit of direction. It gives me a tool. I like having a framework. And for future campaigns, I think I've got a few goals. Of course, I wanna go back to older games and play them. We'll play newer games as they come out. I remember I played Ghost of Tsushima. I played Cyberpunk at launch. And I played a lot of other stuff too. I do plan on coming back to Baldur's Gate. I did put up like a little poll and people overwhelmingly wanted more Baldur's Gate. I don't blame you, it's a lot of fun and I know a lot more about the game. What I'll probably do too, I'll probably have a little discussion on our page about house rules. Things we can do to make it more difficult. I have mods already, but we need to make it even more difficult. That means from the very beginning we'll be playing on Tactician and I'll also have mods to make the AI a little bit more lethal, other things to help out the bosses. There's some unique abilities they get and other tools they get to make our lives miserable. And I think what I won't use in future campaigns are potions of speed. You may have noticed I don't use them very often. Elixirs too, so we'll see. If I don't have any of that, then I would probably need to use healing spellcasting more. That means I would need to rest more, which is okay. I don't like to rest too much because narratively it feels weird. Like right now, I'm sure I could go to bed. Maybe we'll even try that. And I'll just hope that Halston will be okay. I don't like doing that because again, we need to save him, but we have pushed hard and we do need more spell slots again. We need more key points, whatever else. So that's really it. I think what I'll do at the very end, I'll start to have little discussions like the one here. I'll monologue for a bit about what our plans are, what I have planned. 
And uh, as always, let me know what companions you want to see in our following part. I usually change it up based on what feedback I see. And what I do know is that Karlak doesn't have a lot to say in Act 3. I was actually talking to a friend of mine. I think for a definitive edition for Baldur's Gate, it would be great to have more of the upper city. And I feel like Gortash should be there. Narratively, it feels like Orin is all about the lower city. Then I would get to all the game ending plots over in the upper city. For the lower city, I would do more side quests, all of that, because we've got a lot of side quests to do. We're not even yet done. I mean, I've got companion quests to do out of the wazoo. And I have a lot more thoughts about that that I could structure in a more cohesive manner. And if you want me to talk more about these topics, yeah, just tell me. And I'll be sure to take some notes and, of course, talk about that in further detail. But I do love discussing games, even like movies. So when I watch a movie, I get to enjoy it. I get to digest it. I process it, then afterwards, even if I loved it, I like to talk about what could be better, what could be different. It's more about discussion than trying to disparage a work. Now, there are things I don't like straight up, and then I'll go in pretty hard, but that's how I really consume content. I have fun with that. I remember being a young man, and my childhood friend and I, we would watch things like Cowboy Bebop, Ghost in the Shell, and I remember the original film from the 90s, I believe, Jinro, Wolf Brigade, all of that. And we would sit down and just talk about it for hours. And even movies too. So I grew up doing that. And it's a pleasure and a passion of mine. I would like to do it more often. And who knows, maybe one day, once we're a little bit more consistent with content going up, I could stream again. That could definitely happen. I get a little bit more loosey-goosey and wild during streams. I'm definitely someone who feeds off audience participation. That's just who I am. All right. I've gone on long enough. I'm sure there's like five people here listening. And if you're one of those five, well, hooray to you. That's awesome. All right. Until then, everyone, enjoy your day, your night, whatever else. And uh, thank you.